Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I will show you guys how I made bokkumtang or also known as braised spicy chicken. First, I am going to wash the drumsticks in cold water. I bought 4 pounds of drumsticks at my local market, but if you are trying to make for 2 people, I think about 2-3 to three pounds should be enough. I washed mine with some vinegar, but you can skip this part if you guys don't have any. Next, I am going to boil the chicken for about 5 minutes with bay leaves and whole black peppers. I think this step is very important because it helps remove the smell of the chicken, but if you don't care, you can definitely skip this step. While we are waiting for the chicken to boil, I am going to wash the vegetables. Today, I am going to use potatoes and scallions. I am also using onions, but I forgot to film that part. I didn't think that I would be sensitive to which potatoes that I used for this dish, but I ended up not liking the red potato for some reason. I think from now on, I'm going to stick to the brown potatoes that I am f more familiar with. So the scallions that I am cutting right now will be used for seasoning part, um, but for the topping part, I will cut it into a bigger chunk. After 5 minutes, take the chicken off the heat and drain them. After I rinse them quickly, I sliced each drumstick to help them absorb the sauce better. I decided to add kimchi to my braised chicken. This is not the original way to make it, but it has been a popular addition to it. I recommend using the older kimchi that has been fermenting for a long time, and then give it a quick wash. On a clean pan, add some oil, 2 spoonful of pepper flakes, minced garlic, and then the chopped scallions, and mix them all together. This is all done over a medium-high heat. And then add the chicken and gently toss them to cover in sauce. Now add the washed kimchi after you toss the chicken completely in the pan. Now add the plain water into the pan until the chicken is submerged. You don't want to add too much water so I recommend adding them little by little. Now we are going to make the main sauce. This is all my preference but I am using 3 spoonful of pepper paste. 2 spoonful of soy sauce, 1 sugar, and 1, one corn syrup, and a little bit of sesame oil. Now you can slowly add the sauce into the chicken pot. Um, I ended up not using all of the sauces that I prepared, so I recommend and adding little by little and cook it to your preference. Now add the potatoes and onions that we prepped earlier. 
this dish will take about 30 minutes to an hour to completely be done. I like to cook them over medium or low heat for that amount of time. It takes a while for the chickens to absorb all the sauce. Um, if you try to eat it before, it will be a little. The chicken itself will be a little bit bland, so you could definitely season them before if you don't want to cook it for that long. But if you're when you're ready to eat, add the scallions and jalapenos. Lastly, I am topping it off with some black peppers, and it is done. I really recommend cooking this dish for a long time over. A low heat or if you can wait I recommend eating this the day after because I had some leftover and ate it the next day and it tasted so much better than the first day so um, that is my tip for this dish and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time bye guys